uh, you released your album in May this year. So uh, how are your reaction, reactions to the album? Fantastic. No negative reactions so far? None. Yeah, sure. Where? Wire magazine slammed oh, us right, pretty hard. Oh, one, but that's insignificant. Nerd magazine. Math Rock magazine. <laughs> album and card magazine. Does it matter to you? No. No. It so, but you do read reviews. Nah. Nah, not really. And how you know they, they were negative? People uh, tell us. My mom told me. <laughs> <laughs> She has a subscription to Wire. <laughs> She wrote a letter to the editor and said, Don't you ever talk bad about my baby, David, or his friend John, or his friend Ian or Tayande. So your, your mom is very worried about you? She's proud. She's a proud mama. She's a proud avant-garde mom. <laughs> Isn't she worried when you're, when you're on tour? Yeah, she does worry. She, you know, in uh, Rhode Island, East Warwick, Rhode Island, what was that band, Great Lion? Great White. Great White. Great White caught on fire. They had pyrodynamics, pyrotechnics, and uh, pyrodynamics. <laughs> they were they were math rock. They had pyrodynamics. They had pyrotechnics, and they had this like huge like sparkler, like and they were like going bananas in the back curtain, caught on fire, and then the you remember this? Was, and you remember this in Rhode Island? It was like this huge thing. Four or five years ago. It was like a really tiny club. The '80s metal band that got back together and they played in a small, tiny club, and the whole place burned down, and all those oh. people died. Because they still had their like old <laughs> stage act from like when they were playing like arenas, and it was just like the place caught on fire, and everybody was just like, yeah, and like started running out, but everyone got crammed in the door, like like this, and then so it was like this <laughs> pile of people in the doorway. And that fuck the sorry, I mean the place burned down to the ground. And that's all. Any parent who has uh, a child that is in a touring band, that's their go-to yeah. worry example. So my mom's like, I always know where the fire exits are. Make sure you eat before or after you play. Clean underwear. Clean underwear. Actually, he does have two older brothers that are constantly pulling me aside, like always asking me to like watch over him and take care of him on the road. <laughs> True story. Because they know I have a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> And do you take care of him on the road? Yeah. I'm, yeah, like I'm, I'm a horrible uh, example of uh, I shouldn't be looking after anybody. I take care of John. Yeah. yeah. You I'm carry. I'm sure he gets a lot of booze. <laughs> <laughs> Fill up no, that no, tummy no. with something yummy, right? Nah. You're grateful for that? Nah, he's kidding. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't look like he's kidding. Although his brothers did actually pull me aside and tell me that, or one of his brothers did. Jimmy. He was like, John, please, come on, just look after David. He gets, <laughs> he gets a little, you know... Because he has two old brothers, and they're much bigger, and he's kind of small. So, it's you know, he gets, once his mouth goes... I'm not, he's so I'm, used to, you know, I'm not really hiding behind small. his brothers. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, go get him. I'm not really... That, that plant is 15 feet tall. Look how big I am compared to it. I'm actually pretty damn big. I'm not that small, right? It's the smallest one in the band. At 6'2". At 6'2". <laughs> your music enhances your life. Yeah. Yeah. As all good music should, don't you think? Definitely, yeah. And your music is cool, so that's good. Well, do you think if you were baking a cake, do you think uh, it would sound better or worse if you were listening to Slayer? I think Slayer would be better for baking a cake. <laughs> What about making whoopee? A whoopee? Making yeah. love. <laughs> oh, th then it would be, uh, I think, maybe a combination of the two, you know? <laughs> <laughs> On different CD players at the same time? <laughs> no, just foreplay would be more your music, you know? <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> thank you for the interview, guys. Well, we like foreplay. I think, we, uh, I think collectively as a band, we think that foreplay... I like that record they have YYZ, uh, YYX or whatever. <laughs> Talking about that English band, right? Yeah. The Outfield? No, Foreplay. <laughs> What was their jam? Foreplay. They're like the biggest band in the world, aren't they? I, I, the I, guy that I, writes stuff on his hand with his piano. Goes out with Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, that's, uh, you're thinking of Coldplay. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> But you always use Coldplay for foreplay. Yeah. I think that uh, foreplay is very important. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, you even do foreplay with groupies? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Can't. Hands off. Nope. <clears throat> you, you both have a girlfriend? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Different girlfriends, not just girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, t- too bad. Well, thanks for the interview, guys. And, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, good luck, man. Enjoy the show. Thanks.